Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa. I'm a chemical process engineer with expertise in plant design and welcome to another episode of Chemical Process Engineer Diary. In this series, I share with you my daily life as a chemical process engineer and also I answer questions, I clarify some issues related to chemical process engineering plant design and today I have three main topics to share with you and they are about line lists what is line list, what you should consider about line list, and I will talk about a little bit uh, rela uh, related to aspirin certification also, and the last topic, if we get time, I will talk about what is pair, what is backup, and what is parallel installation. So be welcome. Before I start, I have some alerts. The first alert is that I have a free course the chemical process engineer plan design free course is available in the in my website jeffersoncosta.com and there you have more than seven hours of content showing you uh, the roles and responsibilities of the chemical process engineer in plan design not only that i suggest you and i recommend you to join my telegram channel in process and because it is there that you can find all my updates, all the, the every content that I share in the internet, I let uh, uh, alert there. And I regularly, I, I record audios to share with my members, with the members and with the followers uh, inscribed in my Telegram channel in process. And uh, another thing is that in my website, jeffersoncosta.com, you find all the links, all my social media. So if you want to share, to connect with me in LinkedIn, you will find in my website. If you want the link for my YouTube, my Telegram, my, my Instagram, my Facebook fan page, all of this is available in my website. And not only that, I have a blog with a lot of information there to help you. Uh, with content related to chemical process engineering plan design. And finally, to start our content is that I'm preparing a workshop for helping you understand everything that you must know to work with plan design. So it is a workshop that I have been doing uh, during the years, but every time that I, I, I do it again, I try to be better, I try to be bigger, and this time I have some changes in the arrangement of this event. So it will be very nice if you are interested in chemical process engineering in plant design. I'm pretty sure that it will be very useful for you. I am still working in the schedule, but very soon I will return with news and how to subscribe to that. So and uh, I am doing this stream always in the Instagram at my left side and also in the YouTube in my right side. My, my cell phone for Instagram, they, they, they are older, so sometimes the battery loads too fast, okay? And here in YouTube, I am with my, 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 main, my main cell phone. So to start with line list, why I decided to talk about line list as a senior engineer, uh, one of my duties is to supervise or to review the work of the juniors engineers. The junior engineers usually they do the more uh, handy handy tasks, and but to make sure that everything is okay the seniors must revise and must uh, uh, give some kind of advice orientation to the junior engineers. And one of the documentation that must be filled during the plan design is the line list. The, the engineering department of the company that I work currently, it is new and the, 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 there are some procedures that is not well uh, that was that that the team is learning yet, but and the line list it was supposed not to be done to to the project because we we deal with small projects. But when I arrived at the team, I insisted that it is important because we have some very very important information there, and 
what got my attention is that for me, that is, I am a, a senior engineer, it is very clear what must be, how it must be filled. But for someone that is not familiar with the document, it's not so clear. So what is the line list? The line list is a, a summary of all pipelines that you have in your plan design. So the liquids pipeline, the, the gas pipeline, then there are also pipeline for draining, venting, and, and etc. And we need to add a numbering for each pipeline because the, the piping designer, uh, they develop the isometrics. And in the previous years, when we had only the, the hands the hand drawing, uh, each, uh, each isometric represented uh, a new pipeline. But currently we are using CAD and we use the computer, so there is not that restriction because we can, we can design a plant in only one drawing and from that drawing take the isometrics of the, the project. But in any way, what happens is that to, to, to construct the spools and to construct the plant, it is very, very important that each line is identified in order that to, to build the plant, the, the constructor get the correct piece of uh, metal and put in the correct way. So that's why one of the reasons that we have the line list to summarize all, all pipelines that we have in a project. Another thing is that in the line list, the chemical process engineers add information related to the operation, uh, operation, uh, operation pressure, operation temperature, and also the design considerations for those pipelines. For instance, if I have, uh, uh, I need to pump water for, from a point to another, I have the fluid, it is water. But what is the pressure, operating pressure for, for the system? Uh, the chemical process engineer must inform that in the line list. And if the pressure, let's suppose that the pressure of the discharge of the pump is 10 bar G, and uh, according to the curve of the pump, I identify that the maximum head and the maximum differential, I have uh, 13 by G. So in this way, my uh, pressure rating of the, the system will be different if I have a, a pump discharging at 35 bar G. The, the, and the, the head can reach uh, 40 bar G. It changes the material, it, don't, uh, it doesn't change the material, but it changes the pressure rating of the pipeline and it leads to another kind of, uh, uh, instead of using a cl class rating of five, uh, five, um, 150 uh, pounds, I will use 300 pounds. And it, it is very important because if I use a lower pressure rating in a pipeline that's operating in a higher pressure, it, you, you will fail the system and will lead to to rupture, will lead to leakage, and we don't want that. And uh, the, to, ver to, to test if the pipeline is okay or not for operations, there is a, a test in the field named uh, leak test or pressure test, and that is based on in the line list. We, depending on the, the standard that I use it, we use uh, 150, percent of the operation pressure, or we use 120 uh, percent of the operation pressure. And the chemical process engineer is the responsible for, uh, for defining the operating temperature and the maximum operating temperature and the operating pressure and the maximum operating pressure. And based on that, we get the, the class rating or the pressure rating of the pipeline and the designer are able to, to select 
the correct material and thickness of the material and all of this we add to the line list and we need to know how to identify the origin and the destiny or the destination of the pipeline because that will define how many uh, uh, identification you have in a line list so what I recommend you to do when you are filling a, a line list is start from uh, with a, a tag for instance a, a isolation valve a control valve or a equipment nozzle and etc and finish in a and you can finish in another line or in a in a control valve in isolation valve and, and, and you need to start with a, a tag and the uh, end in the, in a tag and what uh, uh, interesting thing is that uh, what I would I say and I observe it in my ah, uh, in, in depending on the procedure that your company uses what happens uh, the, there are companies that change the, the line na name when there is some kind of changing in the process conditions what I mean by that uh, uh, consider that we have a pump and this pump will discharge the liquid for, for three different equipment so we, how we will fill the line list in this case let's consider that it will be 2 inches CWS or cooling water supply uh, 10001 and CS 150 pounds so this is the, the line name and each line should have a name as I told you it is very important to the pipe designer and it defines the, the, the material quantity of the project and as the three equipments is in parallel and there is no changes in the in the process conditions of the the the, the line it could be a name for all of them but the origin would be the pump and the and the destination should be the three equipments and i don't like to name uh, lines this way because if i talk to you to install a uh, a isolation valve in the line we have two, uh, three, two, three different uh, connections to consider adding isolation valve so uh, what I, I have learned in the in the my earlier stages as a chemical process engineer is that you have the main line so you must identify the main line from the pump and up to one of the connections of the equipment and the other two equipments in parallel each one of them will have the the own line uh, line designation although we don't have any kind of changes in the process uh, in the process conditions so and of course if you have uh, you are pumping the liquid and you have a control valve that uh, drops the pressure and we are pumping the, li the liquid with two bar uh, 10 bar G and you have a uh, uh, pressure, pressure valve that reduces that to 5 bar G so in the, in the first part you have a, 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 a line identification and after the control valve you have another line identification because it, you have different process conditions and I have seen here a question in the in the chat so is this recorded? yes Odaxan it is recorded and it will be available to you in my YouTube channel for free okay so this is very very important and when I got the the documentation from my junior engineer I didn't find it feel it this way and when you are when you get a documentation and in the first lines you you have one comment you have two comments you have three comments you stop on that 
and we, we refuse or we disapprove that document and return for the source. Because uh, uh, let's suppose that only the beginning of the, co the, the, the equipment is not filled right, but everything was filled uh, right in, uh, after that. But uh, you will, if you identify that a document, a document is not re reliable in the beginning of your verification, you presume that everything is not reliable. And we return to the, the, the source in order to revise everything. And once it's fi fixed, they will uh, issue again and I will do another verification. And of course, that is important that when we are comment a document, I must identify what are the issues. So I, I talk to, I, I read a red markup telling, telling him that uh, clarify the, the, the source, the, this, this line has the same designation that the other, and you need to, to your, when you are comment a uh, documentation, it's not approved approve it and no approve it. You must highlight what is wrong and to be fixed, but if you have too, too many wrongs, you, you consider that it's not reliable and must be done again. Okay, so I have a question here. I, uh, what would be your recommendation for pressurizing a vest considering the fluid is not flashing and, and do not have any kind of gas? Sorry. I do not have kind of gas, only phase of fluid. Inlet liquid is pumped at 6 bar G and I need to have 20 bar G in the vessel. Uh, I'm not getting the question. Oxygen, how is, are you supposed to, to pump something at 6 bar G and have 20 bar G uh, as final pressure? Uh, but let me do some considerations talk about cooling water system. When we are filling the cooling water system uh, what with liquid, liquid, what we usually have in the system is vent valves to remove the air that is inside the, the system and we don't create any kind of uh, uh, storage or, or buffer of gas in the system, and that can lead to an efficient heating exchange. Uh, in, a, in a way, you, you are telling me that you want to store something at 20 bar, uh, bar G. What you can do, uh, and that my first tip for you is do a process flow diagram, a representation of the problem that you are dealing with. So you have Ah, okay, so you, you, you feel, uh, usually we feel from, from below, depends on the process, okay, but if you want to remove the, the if you want to remove the gas phase of uh, equipment, you need to, it's interesting to feel from the bottom to the top, because as the liquid is increasing, it's push the gas to the top and you can vent that and remove the, the air that you have in your system. In any case, you, you need to have uh, a buffer space to, to, to handle the gas that is dissolved and also the, the, the change in the elevation. And in this way, you, you don't uh, create vacuum in your in your system. So this is a way to do that. And this is a very specific question uh, without having the, the big, uh, without having the drawings and uh, what are the drawings that the chemical process engineers use to do plan design? Is the process flow diagram, is the pipe instrumentation diagram, and is the uh, heating material balance that can be in the process flow diagram or not? So this is the minimum when someone asks you something, uh, you, we must evaluate that to give some uh, more details about the orientation, okay? So guys, about the line list, 
it is what I have to share with you. Now let's go to the next topic. It is about the Aspen certification. Yesterday I received from Aspen Tech the bulletin, the March bulletin, and in this bulletin informed that the, the free coupon to get 100% discount to Aspen user certification exam it's, it's still valid, so you can you still can use the free AS uh, the coupon is free ACU or free Aspen certification uh, I forgot what is this the, the, this, the letters I think it's Aspen certification user, ACU. I think it's is it. But if you, you can get the, the free coupon, you can get the password to, to have 100% discount in my Telegram channel. In process, you find there, you, you can subscribe. Uh, I will let the, the, the links in the description of this video. And what it means? It means that on, up to, to April 3rd, uh, the last day of April, you can do the registration for the exam for free and you are not obligated to, to you can postpone the, the exam date. You, if you do the registration today, you can schedule that for two or three months ahead based on the Aspen Tech uh, schedule. Not only that, if you live in US, you are not obligated to do in the US uh, time zone. You can uh, select the Europe time zone, you can select the, the, the China time zone and etc. Of course, that you must be aware and look what is the, the, the language or the idiom that is considered for the examination. And why I recommend you to do the Aspen high seas user certification is because it's free. The main purpose, the main reason is that uh, and because it's free a lot of people is doing that so just to to not you, you will in my point of view and of course that different people has different point of view my point of view you will not be uh, it will not be a differential but you will remove a disadvantage if compared to other person. My, my point of view, what, the, what kind of advantage you can have uh, related to other candidates for, for job opening is knowing the fundamentals. It is something that Vijay Sarati, a dear friend, always talk about, but also knowing the procedures and responsibilities in the working process of a plan design. If you want to work with plan design, you are, are uh, already are familiar with that. Your interview will have, will go in a in a will be different from someone that doesn't know anything about plan design. You will have confidence. You when you see a pipe instrumentation diagram, you know what they represent. Uh, how to read that without knowing the process, how to start, how to end. And when we are familiar with things, we get more relaxed and that leads to a better, a better job interview. Not only that, you need to, to take care of your mind, your, of your mindset. And that is a kind of thing that I discuss in my training program and that I share here with you in the internet. So this is the topic two. And for today, to finish the, the topics, and if you have questions, feel free to share with me. I'll do my best to answer. Although sometimes I don't have, uh, sometimes I don't have all the answers, but if I know the answer and if I understand the question, I will do my best to answer, okay? Uh, what is it? I'm not so familiar with the, the Instagram, okay guys, I receive I received a question in Instagram right now. So if we have a pressure drop for pipeline fittings and no diameter uh, or length, uh, and all them or lengths, can we add pipe segment? Uh, if you are talking about Aspen High Seas, 
uh, we can use, you can add, you can use only one uh, pipe segment to represent many segments in the field. It's very common. But if you have a control valve or a, some kind of uh, significant pressure drop in the system, you can add a, 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 a valve to represent that in the ice pan high seas. And upstream the valve, you can add a pipe segment. And uh, downstream the valve, you can add a pipe segment. And uh, when you go to the, to the parameters, and rating, if I'm not wrong, uh, you can add a segment and in the pipe segment you can add the, the, the line diameter and you can add another segment in, inside uh, changing the diameter. So for the same pipe segment uh, object in the ice pan high seas, you can represent that as a 8 inch pipeline to uh, four inches pipeline, two inches pipeline, and, and you can add the curves, you can add check valves, you can add uh, considerations for uh, valves, uh, butterfly valves, and globe valves opened or, or partially opened. And this way you will enrich your, your process simulation with more pressure drop or it will be closer to the real and that in the end it may represent a more closer pressure drop uh, calculation compared to that we have in the field. So uh, Mary, it's possible and you can add that, okay? So I hope, he, I hope that I have answered your questions and the Odaxine, thanks, thanks, uh, thanks for your feedback. So guys, to talk about the next subject, it is what is spare, what is backup, and what is uh, parallel uh, installation in the in plan design. I have seen this question uh, some time ago in the Facebook, and it was also addressed to me in LinkedIn. And uh, I already did a, a audio in my Telegram channel in process, talking about it and today I'm bringing it to the YouTube and to this live session because not uh, everyone is member of my uh, Telegram channel. Okay, so where the, although it is similar, these three words, it, in fact, they are very, very different in concept. What we talk about spare and uh, you have to install uh, equipment in the let's let's think about pumps a pump a pump station you must uh, design a pump station for a cooling water system and your boss says to you that uh, we need to install a pump and have one spare uh, how you will draw that in your pipe instrumentation diagram how you will draw that in your process flow diagram when we are talking about spare it means that it is something not installed it is in the shelf, for instance, in the, in the facility, in the maintenance room. And if the main pump fails, the maintenance team will remove this one and will, will bring the, share, the spare and will replace that. So uh, in this case, what you will do in the, what you will do in your drawing? You will represent only one tag for the equipment. It will be the pump 101. Because the other one is a spare. It is not installed, so it will replace the existing. When we are talking about backup pump or backup, a backup system, uh, it means that if I, I, I have the, the pump uh, P101 running and if it stops to any reason I have another another pump to start and do not let the process stop in a hole so you will have in, in you can you can use different tags or most often what we do is add 101A and 101B 
So the backup pump, the, it do, do not run in parallel with the existing one, but it will be installed in the field. So you need to add different tag numbers for them. And in my, my Instagram, the cell phone is low battery. So if it is finished, it's because the battery. Okay, guys. And, and finally, the parallel uh, uh, installation means that the both pumps will run at the same time, but in parallel. So I will have the pump A, the pump B, but for the reasons of the process, the pump A has only the 50% of the capacity of the process and the B has this 50% of the capacity of the process and I will run both of them in parallel. So if someone says to you that an equipment is running parallel, it means that they are, both of them are running at the same time. And uh, that we, if we, you lose one of them, you lose uh, the, the capacity of the, the equipment that was shut down. In the backup system, no. In the backup system, you have 100% and the other one is 100% also, but is not uh, operating. And the backup system in the, in the parallel, you have two, most often it's equal, and if you lose one, you lose that capacity. Okay, guys, so this, this was what I had to share with you today. Uh, my cell phone is, is low battery, but it was very nice to be here with you. So I recommend you to take a look in my website, jeffersoncosta.com, and verify all social media that is available to you, that is available to you there, and get access to my free course, the chemical process engineer plan design where you find many many contents more than seven hours of content uh, telling you what are the rules and responsibilities of the chemical process engineer plan design so this is it i hope you like it and i'll see you soon in the next chemical process engineer diary bye bye